You are now watching the Witch Reef Live. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is probably a barber's biggest fear. If they use a razor for too long, the vibrations can cause their fingers to lose blood flow. If this is not quickly taken care of, they could lose their fingers. Chat, that's one of the difficulties of being a barber. You ain't know that, did you? You ain't notice what people go through is trying to be a barber. Chat, be careful out there, man. You lose the feeling in all of your fingers. I don't know about y'all, but if I got Spider-Man powers, I'm becoming the furthest thing from a hero. You're a creep. That's what you are, Vlu. You just admitted that you're a menace. What are you going to be doing with your powers if it isn't using them for good, huh? You're going to be trying to take advantage? Look at you. Look at you. You're a criminal. Arrest this man. This guy thought climbing without ropes or gear was a good idea. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, calm down, uh, calm down. Shut up! Let me, I'm, I'm, I pause the video because I want to show you all this. It's saying the bottom right, professional, do not attempt. Let me see what the video look like. It was a good idea. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, calm down, uh, calm down. Shut up! What professional acting like that? That's very unprofessional for you to even act scared, paranoid, cautious. Somebody trying to tell you to get down and be careful so you yell. That is, that's somebody that is not comfortable in this environment. That is not somebody who's been doing this for a long time. He isn't patient. He isn't comfortable. This isn't a professional. See, y'all be lying over here on the Daily Dose. Lying every chance they get. Got it. Okay. Where do I put my hand? He don't even know where to put his hands. How is a professional? You got Dude, where do I put my hands? You put your feet on the ground, you dumb bitch. Get off of the rock. Dude, I can't. I can't. What professionals start crying in the middle of their job? That's not a professional. I don't want to do it anymore. I have never seen an angry chipmunk before. I found this tortoise that hates the color black. You know, we all found this tortoise, and I wish you stopped giving him a platform. Ooh, Mom, new shoes. What are you saying? No cap. All I'm seeing is flames. <sighs> Oh my guy. Keep up the drip, my G. <laughs> Why would he give his mom a script to read and she read it? She sounded animated. She sounded like Siri trying to make her read a sentence. Why is she talking like that? Flames. Oh my guy. Keep up the drip, my G. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! This dog was absolutely terrified of these fake cats. Maverick. Hey, black cats are bad luck. What about Mav. a black dog? These things. <laughs> These things still in our cats. <laughs> this professional stunt driver wanted to make the fastest garbage can ever made. These guys celebrated their escape a little too early. Are y'all fucking stupid? Why would y'all be standing in the open? I would have been hanging off the edge of, edge of these things. He could clearly just turn around and look at you. Why would you think... 
All these people have introverted and shy dogs, so they wanted to see what would happen if they brought them all together in one place. Okay, they just stand in there. For the first time ever, scientists made a device that can help paralyzed people walk again. This man was paralyzed from the waist down, so doctors put a microchip on his brain. The Neuralink! The Neuralink is real! This is what Elon Musk was talking about. Y'all thought Elon Musk did something with the Tesla? No, he's trying to set up a Neuralink to put things in your brain so it can activate parts of your body that doesn't work. And then it could then activate it like 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 a update feature. It could update your brain like a controller, like a PlayStation. It could update your head. It could update your head and you could record things with your eyes. The future's real, chat. This is real. It's real. Chat, it's real. Interlink, dummy. Neuralink. Developing ultra high bandwidth brain machine interfaces. Chad, how close is Neuralink to human trials? Founded in 2016, has yet to receive the FDA approval to test its brain chip in humans. Then what are they putting in this guy? What did they put in him? Fuck again. This man was paralyzed from the waist down, so doctors put a microchip on his brain and on his spinal cord. This allows his brain to jump the gap and make a wireless bridge so brain signals can reach his legs. For some reason- Life is getting crazy. You're gonna be able to record what you're seeing with your eyes. You're gonna be able to vividly remember moments of your life as if it's happening in front of your face. Chat the future about to get crazy. Anything you think, you can search it all because your brain turns into an active Google search engine. Because you think it, it pops into your head. Oh, we're about to get crazy. We're about to get crazy in the streets and y'all are not ready. You're not ready for any of this. Look at Ricky Rick putting three dots. You're confused, Ricky Rick. The future is already too advanced for you. You're not comprehending what I'm saying. You're already lost. You've already lost the battle. You've already lost. You're not ready for the future. And it's already happening in front of your face, Ricky Rick. Look at you. Look at you. This cat has to walk on the same exact path every day. Oh my. That is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Russia going to hack us? Now that's the scary part. People knowing how to hack your Neuralink and you are... Oh, people can hack your brain and put anything they want in your mind. That could be a form of mind control. Because the Neuralink controls parts of your brain that shuts down. So like if your arm don't work, the Neuralink activates that part of your body but if somebody hack your chip they they can control your arm you could be like what's happening i'm not doing it oh, the future getting crazy bro yo the future is wild i'm not putting that in me pause listen i would do it because i need y'all to understand i i all my body work perfectly but if I have the chance to enhance my abilities, if I have a chance to remember more things, if I have a chance to save my experiences of life, I got to do that. I ain't got a choice. I ain't, the brain is a powerful thing. And if we find a way to activate the other 50%, how much of the brain is used? How much of the human brain is used? According to Wikipedia, Neurologist Barry Gordon describes the myth as false, adding, huh? we use virtually every part of the brain, and that, most of, the brain is active almost all the time. Elon Musk just tweeted they got the FDA approval two hours ago. You're lying! What are the odds? What are the kawinky dinky? What is the kawinky dinky of that? What is the kawinka dink of that? You're...
We are excited to share that we have received the FDA's approval. So you ain't seen iRobot. Chat, we are excited to share that we received the FDA's approval to launch our first inhuman clinical study. Chat, paraplegic. Oh my God, this opens up the whole world. Amputated people can then have a reattached arm. Chat, the streets is about to get a whole lot crazier. This is the result of incredible work by the Neuralink team in close collaboration with the FDA and represents an important first step that will one day allow our technology to help many people. Recruitment is not yet open for our clinical trial. We'll announce more information soon. Listen, chat, I want this Neuralink in my brain, but I'm not stupid enough to be one of the first you users that's like trying to buy the iphone when it just dropped it's gonna be a bunch of bugs and glitches i don't want them bugs and glitches happening in my brain that's like driving the tesla self-driving feature on stage one like i'm gonna put my life in the hands of a self-driving car on the first attempt no i'm not that dumb yeah, nowadays the self-driving car is extremely safe. But when it first dropped, it had a lot of issues. Come on now, chat. Look at what's going on in the streets. You look like you eat bugs. That's why you don't need that's why you don't need a Neuralink. You're stupid already. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Neuralink is fire. I was a beta tester. <sighs> Reese, is it going to grow your hair back? Listen, listen, listen. Those are physical features that humans don't need to progress the society. If every human wakes up tomorrow bald, that doesn't destroy the human race. But if every human wakes up without able to use their arms, that's scary. So we need to focus on the, the, the ligaments of your body first. People that are blind in one eye, the Neuralink can send things to your eyeball socket to reactivate it i don't know if that's how it works but shut up let me watch a video on how the Neuralink work let me see that Neuralink. chat what is happening y'all like playing around get serious why would we want to be bald like you reese just chatting will it let me watch x-rated videos in my head that's the thing you have full access to the internet and if you're a freaky guy who always thinking about doing the nasty it's going to constantly be in your sights that's life chat uh, sake that's one of other monkeys uh typing on a keyboard but now he's it, this is telepathic typing so Look. You know, this is the, the he's, he's not actually using a keyboard he's moving a, a, the cursor with his mind a monkey is doing that uh to the highlighted key now, now technically um uh we can't can't actually spell and uh, <laughs> so i don't want to oversell this thing but what's really cool here is is um sake the monkey is moving the mouse cursor using just his mind moving the cursor around to the highlighted key and then spelling out what we uh, you know what we want what we wanted to spell, but um, and then uh, so so this this is uh, something that could be used for, for somebody who's who's say uh, 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 quadriplegic or tetraplegic uh, human. Um, even before we make the the, the spinal cord stuff work, uh, is being able to con uh, control a mouse cursor, control a phone, um, and we we're, we're confident that you, that. Uh, someone who is has basically no other interface to the outside world would be able to uh, control their phone better than someone who has working hands. Look at what's going on. He talks a little weird, yes. But you listen to If a monkey can move a cursor to the highlighted words, imagine what the intellectual human brain can do with this capability. Mm, I'm not convinced because your name Ricky Rick. That's why you're not convinced. 
This how Planet of the Apes got started. We're not making Mark Monkey smaller. We're smarter. We're trying the technique on the monkey. Then we're, shut up. I'm not explaining the obvious. Y'all pissing me off, man. Wait, if they install a chip into a monkey, can they talk? You asking the right questions for the first time in your career. For the first time in your career, you're asking the correct questions. Now, let's sit and think about that. Because the Neuralink is to activate parts of the body that don't work previously by sending functions to the brain. Could they then activate functions in these animals that could... I don't think they could do that. Nah, that's too much brain power. I don't know how talking works in the first place. Maybe a scientist that understands where talking comes from in the brain. I don't know. Do monkeys even have the vocal cords to even talk? I don't really know. They make noise, but I don't know, Chad. Leave me alone. Leave me alone like y'all know. <coughs> I, I, I don't know, Chad.